difference between the spiral cleavage and radial holoblastic cleavage. Now, in the spiral cleavage, the cleavage planes are at oblique angles to animal vegetal pole. So, if you see this diagram, it shows the cleavage planes are at oblique angles. That is, cleavage planes are placed diagonally in the spiral cleavage. And if you see the radial cleavage, the cleavage planes are either parallel or perpendicular to animal vegetal pole axis of the egg. So if you see the radially cleaving embryo, the egg, the cleavage axis are either parallel or perpendicular. So this is the main difference in the spiral cleavage and radial cleavage is that in the radial cleavage, the cleavage axis is either parallel or perpendicular that is we say meridional or equatorial whereas in the spiral cleavage, the cleavage planes are at oblique angles to animal and vegetal pole of the egg. Why this is there? Because in the spiral cleavage, there is a requirement of production of spiral arrangement of the cells. Because spiral cleavage mainly takes place in the mollusks or annelids or they are also taking place in some flat worms. In most of the mollusks, there is requirement of production of spiral arrangement of daughter cells. So for production of spiral arrangement of daughter cells, here the cleavage planes are present at, present at the oblique angles to animal and vegetal pole of the egg so that the spiral arrangement of blastomeres can be produced. Then the next difference is that in the spiral cleavage cells touch one another at more places than in the radially cleaving embryo. So in the spirally cleaving embryo cells are in more contact with one another than in the radially cleaving embryo. So in the radial cleavage Cells do not touch one another very tightly. Then third difference is that in the spirally cleaving embryos, these embryos usually undergo fewer divisions before undergoing the gastrulations. So, before undergoing gastrulation, in the spirally cleaving embryo shows fewer divisions than the radially cleaving embryos. And the last difference is that blastulae which are produced by the spiral cleavage have, have no blastocele and they are termed as stereoblastulae. As we have seen that the cells are tightly in contact with each other or in more contact with each other in spirally cleaving embryo, there is no production of blastocele when the blastula is produced. And such a blastula which is produced in the spirally cleaving organisms or spir spirally cleaving embryos are termed as the stereoblastulae. Whereas in the radially cleaving embryo there is, blast there is a presence of blastocele in the blastula. So this is the difference between the spiral cleavage and the radial cleavage.